Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for watching my videos. So today I'm going to show you guys exactly what do I eat in a day. So I'm going to start off with my apple cider vinegar. As you guys know, I've been doing detoxes since 2017. And once I do detoxes, I usually, sometimes I eat them before, sometimes I take the detox before I actually eat a meal. I'm going to be adding the cayenne pepper along with the lemon juice here. For breakfast time, I usually have two eggs, which would be the cage-free eggs. Now, I don't know the difference between the cage-free and the regular eggs. Um, I don't know what's the difference, but they both taste the same. I can't taste the difference. And I do like to get two eggs and put them in the skillet, scramble them, and put um, spinach along with them so I've been trying to eat a little bit healthier um, since since um you know I've been learning a little bit more about diets and stuff so um, as I said this is a good you know breakfast nutrition for you to have I don't like sunny side up eggs um, I do like my eggs scrambled <coughs> excuse me guys and um, this is very good. So I only ate about half of it, not all. Um, and then here I do like to have the uh, steamed vegetables, quick ready meals to pop in a microwave oven um, for a side dish because I don't. Sometimes I don't feel like cooking, so it's always good to have that on hand. Um, I do like um, my frozen foods, um, my chickens, and things of that nature so I'm gonna be cutting up some chicken and um, doing some mixed vegetables here all right guys so here's the mix the chicken and I'm gonna be mixing in some seasoning for it as well I'm gonna do it with the um, extra virgin olive oil here's the seasoning and then I'm gonna be doing putting in the chicken rub so the chicken rub is very good um, it's just the right seasoning to give it that pop of flavor as you can see um yeah so just a little bit it doesn't take that much okay and i'm gonna stir it around get it nice and evenly distributed and put them in the deep fryer so once i put them in a the deep fryer they come out nice and juicy tender and just very 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 delicious so I'm gonna leave that in for about 15 20 minutes at the most and I'll be back I'm gonna start prepping the zucchini noodles using extra virgin olive oil and this process only takes about maybe 10 minutes tops probably five uh, if you cook it on medium heat or whatever but they came out just perfect as you guys can see nice and moist and tender um smells very good so i'm gonna go back and check on my chicken bam as you guys can see there's the chicken nice and juicy tender like a professional chef cooks it i'm gonna go ahead and start my meal prepping so this is what i meal prep sometimes here throughout the week um and here is the cabbage here i do like cabbage uh, i like to have some greenery too i also like brussels sprouts but i'm not cooking brussels sprouts right now um here is some shrimp i'm going to be preparing and then make sure you do not cross contaminate with other items that you may have here um, so it's important not to cross and contaminate so I'm gonna be adding the extra virgin olive oil and some seasoning here I'm gonna be throwing them these things up in the in that grease and get it cracking I love me some shrimp guys you guys just don't know I love me some shrimp so let's go ahead and get these puppies in that grease and fry them with some extra virgin olive oil the process should take no more than about 20 minutes 15 to 20 minutes medium heat make sure they're well done um, stir and then go back and check on your other items here I am cutting up some 
mango I love mango to put on top of my food it makes it even more flavorful and that's salmon here I didn't show you guys that I prepped that and I'm gonna be putting that on the salmon and it makes a very good dish and there you go guys I hope you guys enjoy this video and please like and subscribe and I will talk to you guys later smooches bye